Pete here and I'm back for another challenge against Milan. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos, Milan is an excellent YouTuber and previous world junior champion, so you should check him out if you haven't done bef uh, before. I'll post a link of his uh, side of this video down in the comments below. Uh, so just check that out and we'll jump in, see how we can do. So I'm playing it first, so we will We'll only get to see at the end how we go. But uh, last time I was a bit sloppy on one hand and that cost me. So really need to focus every single board just to make sure uh, we make the most of it. Anyway, uh, pass a spade pass. And I got 10 high card points and a five, one, five, three, four. Uh, so playing two over one, two hearts would be game forcing. So I need to start with one no trump. Partner bid two hearts, fantastic. Definitely gonna jump to four hearts now. And here we go. So in the bidding, uh, West, my right hand opponent is a passed hand um, and East did not want to overcall. So here, what do we have? We've got 14 opposite 10, so 24 high card points and uh, 16 missing. I look at my losers, I have no clubs, I have one diamond and a few spades I have to deal with. Uh, looks like I'm gonna lose the ace of diamonds and a spade, so. Go in with the uh, club and I wanna draw trumps ending in the north hand, or the top hand. I'll play hard up and then just a heart back. And now just a spade. They ducked, really. Okay, well, I'll start trumping. I can now, I can afford to trump two and discard one. I'm gonna knock out the uh, diamond ace before I run out of entries here. I, I still had ample entries, but uh, we've got the rest of the tricks. I can just trump in and uh, draw the last, well, discard and cross rough. So looks like uh, 11 tricks, but uh, the defense was generous and gave me a 12th. Okay. All right. Uh, one spay, uh, eight points, five, four, two, two, eight count, one diamond from my partner. So here, I want to start with my longest suit, so I'll bid one spade. So if you bid four card suits up the line, uh, you definitely still want to bid a spade in this instance. Um, I can follow up potentially by bidding two hearts if my partner bid a no trump. Anyway, uh, they raise spades, so uh, this feels like a pretty easy pass, but let's just double check. Let's imagine my partner's got ace, king of diamonds, king of hearts, doubleton club, sorry, king of spades, ace, king of diamonds, doubleton heart, and the uh, queen of clubs, let's say, I could potentially make game on that sort of perfect hand, losing two hearts, spades breaking nicely, and one club and trump two. Still don't think this is worth it, so we'll just pass three clubs. But uh, here, I do have that extra trump. We have a nine card spade fit, so I'm happy to compete to the three level here. So basically, in spots where the opponents bid on to three clubs um, and you're choosing do you bid on over it or not, the main thing you want to look for here is not how many high card points you have because high card points will take tricks in offense and defense. So it's really just about uh, do you have more trumps or more shape because uh, extra shape won't necessarily take tricks in defense, but it will take it in offense there. Okay. Um, so this p person could have doubled over one spade, but didn't. So they're, they're pretty weak here. The opponents do have a 10 card club fit. Uh, I've got two club losers, one diamond loser, and two heart losers. I basically want to finesse hearts and potentially trump the last one. I've picked up the spades for me. Um, I only really need one trump in the, the north hand, so... I'm thinking of drawing trumps at this stage. They look like they're 2-2, two, two, which is great news. And getting off the board will be difficult. I potentially should have played the nine of spades so I could have stayed in my hand. 
but uh, we'll lead a club up and see what information we find out. Okay, so West uh, Right, okay, so West made a takeout double of one spade of two spades, but not one spade. So if they had just shortage in um, If they've got like five clubs and four hearts and 12 points, they probably would have doubled then um, As it is, they've got six points in clubs Ace of hearts Yeah, and they've picked up the hearts for us, so this looks like we'll actually make the 10 tricks on this hand. Um, so I'll just claim that the rest here. So four spades was on the cards. Have a quick look at that one again. So partner has 12 high card points and a singleton club. Um, they led a spade, which found the spade queen for me, which could have been an issue. They led hearts, which uh, got... Um, I picked up the queen of hearts for me um, but my king of clubs wasn't useful so that game wasn't terrible so again as I said I only had eight points but it was pretty close there and worthy of some consideration moving on to board number three and here we've got only four points so pass and they're bidding my suit okay uh, double here is take out of um, clubs and hearts uh, so here I don't have any suit I actually want to bid but that's not really a good excuse for passing um, so here basically I just want to try and find a playable spot and we're just going to pick the cheaper 4-3 uh, fit so I'm just going to bid two diamonds here my partner won't get very excited and there we end up um, if I pass they would very likely be making um, one no trump doubled so that would be worse um, so here we are. Let's see what we know. We, we know hearts are probably 4 3 or 5 2. Um, they led the ace of hearts, which is making it look more like they're 5 2 because uh, they might be leading the ace without the king there. We've got four high card points here opposite 13, so the points are 23 with east west. And let's give West 12 to 14. So East has 11, 9 to 11 points. I think with 11, they might have redoubled or done something a bit more. So I think West is probably 13, 14 points. Um, they opened one club. Uh, don't know too much else about the shape. Trumps are going to be an issue. Um, Ace of hearts, let's see how they continue here. Okay, we'll duck that. Ace of diamonds. And the nine, okay. So diamonds are either three, three or four with east, two with west. I feel like leading towards the ace jack of club, seeing if they have a king queen doubleton club. Think they would split here if they did? I haven't planned this one the best. Um, I can probably get three diamonds and two aces, but like, Okay. Ace King of Hearts there. Ace of Diamonds, probably Queen of Hearts, Queen of Clubs. It's eight. So I think West has King Queen of Spades. We want to try and cross rough a little bit here. Okay, so clubs were 
two, two, five, uh, four, five. Um, okay, hearts were four three, so got five clubs. I think I can duck again. Okay. Nice has the final trump there. So even though my spades are good, I'm still down two. Oh, that's an interesting one. I don't feel like I had a good thorough plan, but I can't see how I could have got extra tricks. Um, but I feel like this currently is the hand that could make or break it. So uh, firstly, how would they go in uh, one no trump? They can potentially get three hearts, a diamonds four, spades five, and they can get heaps of club tricks if they pick the, the clubs. At best, we could get three diamond tricks, two clubs, and a sp I really don't see us getting two spades. So one no trump's always making. I don't think he'd leave one no trump in, but that's definitely one option there. If he chose spades over diamonds, which I'm not really sure he'd do, uh, that I'm not sure that changes the play too much, but you get to rough in with little ones. Maybe your diamonds are still decent there. Can you get out for down one? That is the real question. So, um, I don't feel like I played this one well, and I think there's room for improvement there, but I'm not sure that it'll be material and you get it tricks. So I think this is definitely the one to watch for and uh, curious to see what he does on that one. Moving on to board number four. We've got 17 high card points and a 4 2 4 3. So kick things off with one no trump. And <laughs> that's where it'll end as well. Okay, so partner's got three points. Okay, so not an abundance of entries there. The opponents have a good heart fit, but they haven't led them yet. Um, they might shift to hearts, which is not great. Okay, so they shifted to hearts. It looks like they can probably get four heart tricks, maybe three diamond tricks. Um, and yeah, that's not super promising here. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna duck this first heart and back in. So heart to the jack and another heart. Okay, so. What are my options here? Well, first of all, I could try and play to make by dropping a singleton king of spades and taking my spades and uh, finessing a club. I could also play to make by dropping a singleton king of clubs and running my clubs and taking a spade finesse. Um, the spade king's a lot more likely to be singleton if that's the case. Uh, alternatively, I could do something like lead the queen of clubs, which gives them a trick, but sets up a potential entry. Or similarly, I could do it with the jack of spades, but I think that's worse. Um, I could just exit a diamond and assume that they're gonna take their, their four hearts and their three diamond tricks. And then I will get in and be able to, well, they have to play something for me, but they'll probably just lead through a suit that uh, West has a king in and it won't be good for me. And I'll get like two tricks or something. So because we're in damage control here, I think just going ace of spades, jack of spades, setting them up is the way to go. Um, I will have to make a fair few discards here, which will be awkward. Okay. King. Ooh, spades are four one. Okay. So 
So I don't need both my spades and I'll just unblock it while I'm, I've got it here. And they're overtaking. And I just uh, cash these spades and give up the last two tricks for down two. So I could have thrown a diamond. I was slightly... Okay, the king of clubs is there. So don't think I can do better there. Both kings are offside. Um, so I was thinking maybe if I... Uh, like held on to ace queen of clubs and threw a diamond but then they can just lead a diamond through and potentially take lots of diamond tricks so that was a bit ominous but i should have considered west let a diamond from um potentially a short suit because they've got length in hearts and they've got length in spades uh, so it's not too dangerous again both kings in the wrong spot so i don't think there's much i can do there but again curious about that one doesn't feel like I'm in a winning position yet. Let's see what uh, board number five can provide. So 11 high card points, pass, pass, a diamond. So I could make a takeout double. It's pretty mediocre, but uh, we'll get in there and try and compete earlier, early. And my partner bid two diamonds, which is sort of just like, let's start a conversation. So I'll say I've got four hearts. Not super stoked about getting to four hearts here. But partner has a really good hand. We have one diamond loser on the lead. Remember, East opened the bidding, so uh, and the lead will always set the king up. But I need to trump another one. Got a definite spade loser. To worry about the ten of clubs are losing to the jack. To worry about the king and ten of hearts. Uh, looks like spades are four four. Just looking at the bidding, uh, the points, we've got 11 and 11 is 22, 18. East opened the bidding, so it's like 12 and 6, but West didn't respond, so like 13, 5, sort of thing. Three of diamonds lead. Okay, three, seven. I think I can just play a spade. I don't think I'm in any rush here. Ooh, king. So it's really looking like the king of hearts is on side. Jack of diamonds. Okay, so the king of hearts is on side. So the next question is, do I want to play east to be an unbalanced hand and have singleton king of hearts or have hearts be 2-2? Two, two? I really don't have any information for east to be um, unbalanced with a singleton king. So we'll go that approach. There, hearts are 2-2. Two, two. Okay. And now I've just got ace, king, queen of clubs, and I can trump the other one. So uh, making 11. So I don't feel like I'm in a position to win this one. I think board three and four will be really interesting to see. Like these sorts of part score awkward play problem hands, both of these were, were sort of like stretching for tricks. I think these are the potential swing boards. I didn't do great on them. I'd be uh, curious to see what happens. I might win just for getting that extra trick on uh, that first board if the robots chose something different to do. Uh, potential game swing there. I think that one's unlikely for him to bid, but uh, let's uh, jump in and look at how we, we did. So the results are in, and he actually won 10 to zero. So we had four flat boards. I was worried about board three and four. I'll have a look at what he actually did, but he bid game on uh, board two. So we'll have a quick look at this, but just, uh, I thought I was being aggressive considering bidding game on this one. He just went straight for it. Like you do have eight highs, two doubletons for 10. How good was game? You're off the ace of diamonds, the ace of clubs, ace of hearts. You need to find the queen of hearts and the queen of spades. So, uh, quick look at uh, how the play went. So it went hearts, got spades right, and then got to discard a club early. 
and that was it so that was the board let's have a quick look at uh what he did on board three as well uh so he chose two diamonds just the same ace of hearts diamond switch he started with a spade to the jack rather than a club to the jack so far pretty similar and the spade set up he got to he played the last spade which got trumped and over roughed but uh, that didn't really change much and he just scored his eight of diamonds in the end so for that was the same and uh one no all pass so here this one was really awkward about what to actually lead when we got in uh, so he went straight for low spade to the queen rather than ace of spade spade, but pretty similar there. Um, one spades, took the club finesse, and at this stage, unblocked the ace. And got diamonds right in the end. So pretty similar there. So it all came down to board number two. So I'd love to check out what his um, thoughts were on that one. And luckily we can. So check in the links below, go through and uh, see his thoughts on all that. Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.